why is it okay to always have forgiveness for these whack ass men but it's not okay to forgive your friend if you know that their heart is pure and their intentions are good otherwise dead that shit because oh why you only want to come around when you need something like you're draining me at this point those are leeches my friends okay we call them leeching ass bitches mm -hmm. hold it got the dumpy yeah pour it know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it they all in my face when i know what i got love what you see you want to deal on my shit so hot yeah i bet you catch a feel i don't know who you are if i'm keeping it real what's good y'all welcome back to the channel which is her Renee. if you don't know now you know whenever best friends nice to meet you sis so make sure that you like comment share and subscribe join the fam and when you do make sure you turn on your push notifications so you never miss an upload for moi okay because i'll be coming with the content and make sure that you follow me on all my social media so you stay in tune with me because i post there outside of youtube okay okay i can't feel the air hold on baby no, I don't want y'all to hear it. Okay. So, I'm excited. I'm actually geeked as fuck for real, real because it's been a minute, like a whole bricky brick since I sat down. And I did, like, a person, a person talk down, sit down video. Girl, I was over the voice, the voice memos, the voice recordings, the voiceover. It was just draining my creative energy like if i was to have sat down and edited another voice over my brain probably would have exploded and i would have had experience internal bleeding because oh i couldn't do it no more okay i was bored so i know y'all was bored okay but i had to give y'all the hair content and they're coming again so don't get too bored okay but uh, yeah, anyways, I'm excited to film this video. I'm also excited because it's another Tara card talk, a part of the series. I'm excited. I only did one of them. So basically, if you're new to the channel, we're new to the series. This is a time where I sit down and I talk about, like, you know, spicy topics, interesting topics, things that, you know, get people, you know, get people hyped up to watch one of these kind of videos because I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all about something about some stuff yeah so the first one was about relationships and violence and how to maintain different things in relationships girl what did we talk about we talked about balance we talked about communication we talked about some other things okay so i will link that in the description box um and it's all going to be a part of the playlist so you know as i continue to film more of these y'all can like keep track right but today's video y'all we're talking about friendships like best friends like females like women and women to women interactions and connections and things of that nature I really don't know what to call it so you know refer to the title if i sound crazy right now but yeah i'm excited i did a little poll on my instagram asked y'all if this was a good topic and literally everyone said girl film that video this is a great topic so i'm excited to get into it okay i have a couple of disclaimers okay i'm actually tired of hearing my car so what if i like pull the window down i should have took an allergy pill y'all hear the birds and shit that's too much y'all what if i get hot this is maybe i shouldn't have put on this hoodie but i like hoodies y'all okay so anyways back to the i feel ashy so hold on because i need some lotion but let me stop getting distracted let me give y'all some disclaimers i will be discussing some things that happened that I experienced within friendships in my past and I'm going to talk about three like major fallouts that I had with women throughout my life just so this video isn't a whole entire advice column and y'all sitting down bored listening to what I should do with my friend this episode. no okay I'm not even that type of person I only like to give advice when it's asked of me to give it like I don't just go out here until you know point my finger and say what people should or shouldn't be doing that's not me yeah baby y'all don't have to live and listen to these birds shirt because i'm getting hot all day we need some air flowing in this bitch okay so for one do know that i will be talking about my experiences but i am in no way shape or form bashing anyone that i used to be friends with i'm not down talking them i'm not talking about them in no like kind of way i'm literally just talking about my experience from my point of view how i saw how things went just so y'all can like you know get the tea and have an interesting video to watch if i keep looking around it's because 
a bitch been inside for like five days and I'm just looking at people, you know, walk by, drive their car. I'm looking at the birds chirping and shit, shit, woo woo. So yeah, I need to focus right here because this is the money shot. But yeah, so don't be in my comments saying, oh, you talking about this person or oh, I'm talking down. You was friends with them before, so why you talking about No, okay? Just talking about what happened to me in my life, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all know, but you know, I gotta give the disclaimer because there's some people out there that's not... They not all wrapped too tight up there, so yeah. And then in the end, I'm gonna talk about why I feel as though it's very important for women to make friends and keep the friends and work on the friendships. You know, it's amazing to say you've been friends with someone for 10 plus years. That's amazing, you know what I'm saying? That's like a bragging right. And it's not cool to say you don't have friends and oh bitches don't like me because this, then the third. That's not cute. And I feel as though a lot of women should put more energy and effort into their friendships, similarly to how they do their relationships. I think I've noticed that a lot of women will be very forgiving when it comes to these men's, when they really may or may not deserve it. And when it comes to their friendships, they're ready to cut it off as soon as somebody makes a mistake. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of things, okay? So, the first time I had a falling out with a woman, she was my bestest friend, y'all. Like, oh, I was the straw, okay? So, my first experience is going to be from, like, high school days. My second one is college. Then my third one is, like, college slash adulthood, right? So, the first one, I became friends with her in seventh grade, okay? She, like, just took me under her wing type shit. Um, I went to, like, a new school, and in the sixth grade, I was friends with, like, a lot of girls in my class, but it wasn't that, like, I have, like, my one road dog, you know, that I was with on the weekends, that I would always call, text, link up with, like, out of school. I didn't have that for a fro. I just had, like, a group of girls, but this one in the seventh grade, she was my bestest friend ever, and we're gonna give her a name, okay? So, we're gonna call her... We're going to call her, I suck at giving people the fake names in the videos. Oh, my Lancer, I suck. Let me think on it. We're going to call her Nika. Okay, so Nika took me under her wing. She was the most chill, laid back, nice, smart girl. You know what I'm saying? Love it, okay? Her family was cool. My family was cool. We would go over each other's houses. Boo -boo. I was always with her, okay? Anytime it was a Friday or a Saturday, I was always with her. We would go on dead missions sometimes. We would always have fun. And she was a little bit more, I don't want to say grown, but she was more experienced than I was. And she used to... She just was always in some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, she's a very entertaining person. And I would learn from her mistakes. Let's just say that. So... Um, we were friends all the way until my 12th grade year, and like I said, Nika, because I was about to say her real name, Nika used to be in some shit, you know, she was always finding herself in a little situation, and she would, like, not bring her best friends into the situation, but we definitely knew her business because, you know what I'm saying, that's what she did, right? So, Nika, even though I never told any one about her situations nika decided to tell someone about my situation girl and my situation wasn't a little small thing it wasn't boy drama it wasn't no it, it was it was something that you know you definitely supposed to keep to yourself you're not supposed to go out here and tell anyone else because that's your best friend's business your best friend of so many years you know what i'm saying so no you already know this that ain't nobody else's business. You shouldn't be talking about your best friend behind your best friend's back. You know what I'm saying? All of that happened. So, word around town, got around, because that's what people do in high school. That's what people do, period. Everybody run their mouth. Just mind your business. And worry about yourself, okay? How you supposed to be getting you some business if you want somebody else's business? The two don't match, okay? So, she was yapping the mouth. And it got back to me, and I found out, and I was very hurt because, like I said, it wasn't a regular thing that you're supposed to go around and gossip about. I ain't going to get into what it was because that may be another, like, story time that I may, like, open up to y'all when I feel a little bit more vulnerable. Uh, that ain't today, though. So, 
And it's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's just, that's a whole different situation. You know what I'm saying? So, that's going to be a different video. But, yeah, she was, and when I found out, I was like, <laughs> because, girl, you was not supposed to tell nobody about that. And I addressed her. I think I addressed her in school. I found out out of school, but I took that shit to school. And I was like, you told so-and-so what happened with me? You was talking about like this, miss? And she was like, <laughs> nigga was dead wrong for this, okay? Because why would you, why would you, y'all, let me tell y'all first before I like get into the shit. She was like, yeah, I told her because, you know, I y'all are cousins, so I thought it was okay. If you don't know, um, I think three of my cousins on my father's side all went to my either middle school or high school at some point in time. But, y'all, I was not close to this cousin. Still not close to this cousin to this day. Can't tell you that cousin's birthday. Can't tell you that cousin's middle name. You know what I'm saying? I live with my mom primarily. So, the dad side be a little iffy. I don't really kick it with them. So, at this point, you're closer to my cousin than I am with my cousin. And if you know that I didn't even tell... A lot of my family members, what happened with me, a lot of people didn't know, and I confided in you, why would you go out and tell somebody else my business? And then it got back to me anyway, so that means you knew that person was going to run their mouth. Oh, I just wanted to, but I kept my composure, and I was like, girl, you out of shit for that, can I trust you? You're whack as fuck, and... I could have told so many people about all the things you ever went through, and I didn't. Because, you know, loyalty comes with me when I am in a friendship with someone. But, obviously, that don't apply with you. So, you know what I'm saying? Had to done dealer. Afterwards, she, you know, she came back and she apologized. But, at that point, I was over it. And it was, it was, it sucked because that situation kind of messed up our whole friend group, like, my other best friends ain't want to fuck with her because they was like, dang, if you going to do terror dirty like that, I know you talk about us behind our backs. And she would really grind my gears, would really grind my gears about a situation where she didn't seem apologetic enough for me. She didn't, she didn't seem sorry enough for me. Like, she was just like, I apologize, it happened, and, you know, I won't do it again. Girl, yeah. So that's what happened with Nika and I. When I sit back and reflect on the situation, I do realize that, like, huh, you know, some, some niggas you were with in your past did some grimy shit to you, Tara, and you took them back, you know, you gave them a second chance, so, like, why Nika couldn't get a second chance? Like, that's definitely not how I was seeing the situation back then, because I was really, like, blown, like, it blew me, girl. But I'm thinking about it now, like, men do grimy stuff. Like, men will cheat on you and women take them back. Men will mess with your best friend, your cousin, your sister, da 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 and people be taking them back. Men will go out and have a baby with someone else on you and women will be taking them back. But a woman will be friends with another woman and she talks behind your back or she's talking about you and y'all fight. Y'all put y'all hands on each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did the friendship and y'all probably been friends for 20 plus years. So it's like, how is it okay to do one, but it's not okay to do the other? Why is it okay to always have forgiveness for these whack-ass men, but it's not okay to forgive your friend when, like, nine times out of ten, the men be doing the most grimy shit? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh I don't know. Y'all talk to me in the comments because what it sound like is giving, it sounds like we be letting men do whatever, but won't have no patience for the women. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, let's go into my second all out. This one irritated me because I feel as though we didn't fall out because of each other. We let men, I don't want to say men. I really don't know what it was. Hey, y'all ever had like a falling out with a friend and y'all really never discussed what went down? Like y'all just stopped being friends and y'all really didn't have a conversation about it. I feel as though this is what happened with, let's name her Jasmine. Jasmine and I became best friends 
during my first year of college. As soon as we, like, came to college, we was like this. You know what I'm saying? We was, like, really super-duper close. But I feel as though Jasmine and I's friendship ended not because of men, but when we both got in relationships, things just changed. Also, when you live with someone, I feel as though you don't know people until you live with them. Like, roommate type shit or apartment mate type stuff. Like, that's when you really realize who that person is. You learn so much more about them than you could ever by, like, just going to parties with them or having a classmate and do a work with them. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, you live over here and I live over here and we're friends and we link up. I come and I spend a night and we have sleepovers. But other than that, yeah, it's different when you live with them, baby, 24-7. It's a very big difference. So, to get into... So, to get into Jasmine and I's friendship, that was my Ace Boon Coon, okay? And uh, we decided to move in together in college on our second year. And everything was cool, but you know, it was like little stuff at first that was throwing me off, like cleanliness of apartments and things like that, using my stuff on you know, without asking, things like that. You know, you get over that. That comes with, like, family members, you know what I'm saying? People in my house be irritating all, drinking a little bit, leaving a little bit of juice in a, in a bottle and putting it back in the refrigerator. Don't do that. Or, like, you know, leaving their clothes in the in the washing machine and they wet and, like, girl, I'm trying to wash my clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you live with people, it's just a different type of irritation that can get to you. And that's why I vouch I will never in my life move in with another one of my best friends because it can really mess up a great friendship like me and Jasmine had a fantastic friendship but living with your best friend is not Ugh. sorry you guys my camera had um overheated I hate when it does that but I do not remember what I was saying so I'm just gonna hop back into the story so Jasmine and I right I was saying we became friends in college. We became roommates. I will never roommate with one of my best friends again because, I don't know, I have two different experiences with that, though, because my third year, I was roommates with a very close friend of mine, and it was amazing, but I think it was like that because she was always over her boyfriend's house, so I had a lot of time to myself. I'm a person that needs a lot of time to themselves, okay? That's one thing for sure. But in this personal case with the roommate, you know, little stuff that, like, your family would do that would irritate you or your boyfriend would do if y'all live together. That was happening. She was probably irritated at me always saying some stuff, too. I give her that. But it became a little bit different when she got in a relationship and I got in a relationship and our, like, boyfriends was coming over. And um, I think that's where things went left. Um, For one, it was probably a lot a fault from my end, if that makes sense. Like, a lot of it was my fault because my boyfriend at the time was coming over so much because he was going through things at home with his mom. I guess he was going through, like, growing pains, and she would, like, uh, what's it called? She would, like, um, threaten to kick him out, and he's like, I'm tired of you saying this shit to me, so I'm gonna go chill with Tara, and then he would come over there, but, like, he would stay for weeks at a time, and it was very much so annoying, like, to the point where I was going to parties, and he was just always traveling along, tailing along, irritating me, and I would be trying to go to class, and he would be walking around grounds, like, that was just so weird, oh my god, but I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to, like, tell him go home, because... He ain't really had nowhere to go, question mark. So, <laughs> girl, I don't know. It was a hot mess, okay? And then her dude, I didn't really know him. It was an age gap. I'm not saying there was nothing wrong with the age situation, but I just didn't know him personally. We didn't come into the school together. And um, I don't think we ever took the time to really get to know our boyfriends. Like, I didn't take the time to get to know her guy, and then she really didn't take the time to get to know my guy. She probably didn't want to because of all the BS he would put me through when I would tell her and stuff, or she would, like, hear from being in the apartment with us. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how the last conversation went. All I do know is that it was over something dumb. We started going off on each other in the 
in text messages, we wouldn't talk to each other when we was in the apartment, like, together. Like, we would just walk past each other or, like, come home, do our homework, get dressed, leave out, don't go to parties together no more, don't talk no more. <laughs> ah, and, like, I think she sent me a really long message. I read that shit, got in my feelings, and didn't want to respond because I didn't want to curse her the fuck out. And I think that's the last time we spoke. Y'all, we had a class together and everything, and I didn't speak to her the whole time. We weren't living with each other anymore after that, I don't think, question mark. Yeah, we wasn't living together. I think this was in my last year, but, like, we didn't talk. And I would come to class saying every day, I'm going to speak to her today, or I'm going to say hi to her today, or I'm going to say something to her today because this is dumb. We grown. And it would never happen. So, that was just a very weird situation, and I really don't know why we stopped being friends. And that was, like, my girl. So, it's just, like, a question again. To compare how women move in their friendships versus how women move in their relationships. Why do we sit down, take the time, and be super duper vulnerable and open and discuss every single thing that we found wrong within our relationship with these men, but we don't do the same in our friendships? I feel as though that's very weird. At the age of 21, 22, and 23, I definitely should have known exactly why I stopped being friends with her, didn't want to be friends with her no more, or like why we was having a falling out, and I don't. And that's crazy. Girl, it's getting hot again. <laughs> like okay once this stop do y'all mind hearing the car can y'all hear the car girl because it's getting hot y'all hear the air okay let me turn it down one yeah so I definitely think that is something that we should sit down and ask ourselves when we notice a change happening in our friendships because I don't know if it's just me but personally I would just let the shit go I'll be like oh well I really don't care no more like it's oh I'm over it I would be very prideful but in my relationship I'll, I'll feel like oh I miss him I want to talk to him I want to work things out I don't know if it's because it's sex involved and nine times out of ten I'm I'm trying to get some girl like you would do everything with that boy and stuff but I used to do everything with her. Like, we was always hanging out, always. We was in the same classes because we took, because we had the same major. We was into the same things in terms of, like, hair and makeup. She's really the person that, like, introduced me to, like, makeup and going to Sephora and stuff. Like, we was very in tune with each other. And I just cut that shit off. Why? Do I do that in rela in in friendships, but I don't do that in relationships? I'm not saying that I, like, won't cut a nigga off because I definitely have done that. But I've done it after taking them back countless times, dealing and putting up with their bullshit for no reason, knowing when they didn't deserve it versus knowing that, like, dang, we have a great friendship with one another and I don't want to see this end. You know, it's just really something to hmm, ponder on. So, yeah, y'all, I'm getting hungry. I need a snack real quick. We got to take an intermission. I'm tired of talking real quick. Come on, let me get, let me get my energy back. I'm eating some honey roasted almonds. Comment down below if y'all like these. These things be popping. You got to get the honey roasted because the sugar on them is just chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know when I usually do car videos, I'm always eating Chick fil A. I'm on a diet, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I put myself on a diet for two months because in two months I'm going on my birthday trip. Al, if you a cancer, comment down below. Hike me up, period, poo. Or if you a summer baby, period. If you a Gemini, mm, I don't know about you too much. Y'all, Jasmine was a cancer too. Like, we was really in tune with one another. Dang, I probably should text girl back. <laughs> That's crazy. But I'm over the I'm not tired of being on this diet. But I could do a crispy chicken deluxe meal from Chick-fil-A right now with a lemonade and some polynesian sauce. That'll hit. If you like Chick-fil-A sauce, I'm judging you because that stuff nasty. It tastes like an off brand honey mustard for the gosh is nasty. Girl. Like every morning I wake up and I make myself a smoothie. Today I had a green smoothie. For lunch I had a salad. Okay, but it had a lot of protein. Okay, because it had avocado and egg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I don't know what I'm eating for dinner. Last night I had chicken noodle soup because that's what my mama made. I guess that was healthy enough. Her chicken noodle soup ain't no regular regular chicken noodle soup though. Like, that's the fact. My mother's a great chef though, so. <laughs> so, y'all, there's really not much to say about this friendship falling out. I think it was a lot of repetitive things that was irritating myself and my other best friend that I'm still best friends with to this day. So we're going to name this girl, this woman, we're going to name her Tracy. I don't know why the name was just on my, on my mind. So Tracy and I became friends in the ninth grade, I believe, question mark. And we was in a scholarship program together and we was like ace boom cones, okay? So... We was we also cheerleaders together. We was always together. Okay, we both from Southeast. We would get on the train together, girl. That was that was my boo. Okay, so things changed when we all went to school because she went to school very far. So first off, if I feel like I don't talk to you or see you enough, unfortunately, something I do and I really need to work on it is I will kind of like forget about you. Not forget about you, but like. It don't hit the same, you know, like, going from seeing someone in person all the time to, like, just talking to them on FaceTime, and you feel like every time you get on the phone with them, they only talk about themselves and their issues, and they really don't have time to, like, listen to you. It really just don't hit the same, and I'm not saying that that's what caused our friendship to end, because it's not, but it would be very difficult to talk about our problems when we have, like, issues with each other over the phone, because you don't get the same genuineness. Is that a word? They, the conversations don't feel as genuine as they would in person. And it's really hard to communicate your feelings and express yourself when you feel like, what is the point? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, wait, it's a plane going by. It's annoying. Y'all, I'm feeling natural today. Piriana make the girls want a mother... I love, okay? I don't know why I always say that. I think that's like, if I make merch, I'm going to put that on the back of my shirt. I'm not going to do that. That's a shame. But I do say that a lot. I really want to know where I got it from. Periana make the girl. I love. But is that plane gone? Okay. Uh, excuse me. I don't understand. Tracy and I, we were just bumping heads. But, like, it wasn't over anything serious. And my memory is so tragic. I can't even tell you what happened. But I do remember that the last time... We had a big situation. It was over a birthday party. Y'all know people getting their feelings about their birthdays and want everything to go perfectly fine. And sometimes it's just not realistic to think that way because sometimes people are not going to be able to make your events. Basically, I wasn't able to make her event because of um, an activity I was like on an executive board for in school. And my other friend couldn't go because she had a midterm. And we were trying to explain that to her and say, we was going to throw you so when you come back home for break. And she didn't want to hear that. Um, she called my other best friend out her name, and I appreciate that. Um, and then, that ain't had nothing to do with me, though, because I wasn't on the phone when that happened. But then she, like, blocked me and didn't want to talk to me no more and stuff, and I followed me and stuff. Girl, I don't, I don't even know what happened, but it's, like, from what she was telling me from her relationship is they was having problems and stuff, and you was always, you know... Taking these people back, but you was dead quick to cut us off. I swear I didn't do anything to her. I think she felt like I was getting in the middle when I was, like, taking my other best friend's side. But it really wasn't the case because I wasn't involved in the conversation. And when they had their conversation, I was out at a party. So, I don't really understand what happened. But, again, why don't I know exactly what happened in the friendship? Because I was too prideful to reach out and ask what was wrong. Or maybe I couldn't because I was blocked. But she never reached out to me. I think she's reached out to my other best friend. But there's... Ugh, pride again. There was no way in hell I was going to reach out. And, like, have my other best friend be the middleman and see what was going on. Because I just felt like that was unnecessary. But I probably would have done things differently if I was in a relationship with someone that didn't understand what was going on. I don't know. So, basically, moving on into the advice column... 
a part of this video because I'm done talking about my experiences. I just wanted to show y'all how, like, dang, when you go through things with people sometimes, it may be a good choice to give them second or third, maybe fourth chances if you know that their heart is pure and their intentions are good. Otherwise, dead that shit. I'm not going to sit down and tell y'all to always repeatedly take someone back or forgive them in a friendship they did you dirty because that's not the that's not the message that i want to give to y'all but i do want to say that like if your friendship is important and your girlfriend is important to you then it definitely should be worth you fighting for similarly to how you fight for relationships I, i've never really sat down and said like i'm gonna fight for this friendship because i really fuck with her i've been friends with her for a really long time that's never come out my mouth i'll be like dang why all them, them years went the ways because now we're not friends no more you know but i'll turn around and be in a relationship and go through thick and thin with that motherfucker but not for my friend I don't know. It's just something to think about, and I wanted to open this topic to y'all and see if y'all have, like, similar experience with this, with these situations, girl, because it can't just be me, baby. Oh, my God. If so, I'm out here looking crazy. And I took a lot of time in this video to discuss forgiveness and having patience with women, but it's also very important to know when they cut motherfuckers off, okay? Let's not forget that. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about some of the signs that we need to, like, pay attention to when it comes to our friends. These are these are the times when I have an exception, when you should not be forgiving them people and you shouldn't have them in your life. When you realize that your friend never claps for you, when you have accomplishments and they always quiet or they don't really acknowledge what you got going on, cut them motherfuckers lips, okay? Because that's a hating ass hoe. That's someone who's not happy with themselves, who needs a lot of growing up and a lot of growth to do. They need a lot of growing up to do and they need a lot of time to work on themselves because they not happy with what? with the process that they're making and they're projecting that onto you when you're out here flourishing and you shouldn't be experiencing that. Also, if you got one of them friends that always is throwing low blows or like, uh, I got, I don't even know where to look. Oh my God, I'm about to record on my phone because I'm irritated at this point. This mother freaking camera keep overheating like, baby girl, what is your deal? What is your deal? I'm not understanding. I'm actually very pissed. Like, I did not spend almost $1,000 on this camera fit to always overheat. I'm just sitting in my car. It's not that hot in here. Like, anyways, it's blowing me. But if you have one of them friends, like I said, it's always taking jabs and low blows at you, talking about your insecurities all the time, making you feel less valuable, making you feel bad about yourself, always talking about things that you have literally told them in secret that you want to change about yourself and stuff like that. Cut them motherfuckers loose, okay? Because they're hate they're haters and they they not happy with themselves. If if you are okay with making other people feel bad and taking joy from others, there's no way in hell that you're happy. And you should not be around them people. Let's see what else. If you notice that some of your friends only reach out to you when they need something, cut them loose. Those are leeches, my friends, okay? We call them leeching ass bitches. Some some leaves, some libs. I don't know. I'm making stuff up over here. Because, oh, why you only want to come around when you need something? Like, you're draining me at this point, and nobody got time for that. If you're not putting in to the friendship how you're taking out, then I don't want to be friends with you. Period, okay? So, what else? It's a whole lot of signs to look out for, but it's also a lot of reasons to reflect and notice that, like, you actually like being friends with people and you should give it another go, you know what I'm saying? Because all the experiences that I talked about, I respect these women. I still have love for them somewhere in here, but I just can no longer be friends with them because, like I said, when I'm a, I'm the type of person that when I'm not around you, I don't talk to you. I feel like I don't know you no more. I feel like I don't know those women anymore. I used to know, I used to know of them. I used to know them well back in the day, but just how I'm not the same person I was when we were friends, I know they're not the same people now. So it's like we don't know each other anymore. But I was in no way, shape, or form talking like bad about them. I was just talking about how I felt through my personal experiences and my perspective. So yeah so i don't know how i feel about this video probably i'll do a lot of editing to it because 
girl i was over here rapping but i hope y'all enjoyed the video i'm so sorry about the noise i'm sorry about me changing from my camera to the phone girl but this is the i don't even know what phone i got but it's the newer one so the quality better be good because i'm not playing but yeah y'all hope y'all enjoyed this tarot card talk don't forget to talk to me in the comments because i want to know about some of y'all experiences i want to know if y'all can relate to what i was talking about girl let me know if you like this video i would definitely do a part two and we're gonna do it in the house i don't know i'm gonna find somewhere calm and quiet and cool to film because my house be jumping so yeah y'all i'm about to go to the store give me some dryer sheets and some water because we ran out and i need to do some laundry to get what is that oh somebody somebody put it up all right y'all so Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, join the fam, and comment down below, like I said, and stay tuned to the next video. Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the dump in, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.